the car just took off. I mean, it, it was absolutely the quickest in the class. In 1969, Luigi Canetti modified a road-going Daytona to race spec and took it to Le Mans. The car immediately showed great potential, and as such, the factory decided to build 15 of their own factory cars. 5 Series 1, 5 Series 2, 5 Series 3. So there are 15 factory cars and 10 cars that were modified from road cars in period and raced at the time that are therefore accepted by the factory as period competition cars. This car being one of them with its white book Classic A certification. Time by Kirk F. White, and in 1972 he gave the car to Holman and Moody and the engine to Traco for them to fully upgrade it to full competition spec, ready for the Sebring 12 hours of that year. And the idea was to win the GT class at Sebring in 1972, and this is the car they were going to do it with. Once we got that rear suspension thrown down, it was quicker than the others by a shot. I mean, it was, it was a fast car. <laughs> We just thought we were going to sit back and have an easy day and 12 hours later take the laurels home. But uh, <laughs> it's typical of motor racing. Small things can bring your efforts to a halt. So. <laughs> In Christian Huey's book, The Competition Daytona, only six cars are listed as having had 450 horsepower in period, five of those being the factory Series 3 competition cars and this car. At the race itself, the car qualified on pole by miles in the GT class. It led the class for 54 laps until unfortunately it had to retire with broken drive shaft bolts. They were pretty much the only component that hadn't been modified as part of Holman and Moody's extensive work in preparation for the race. A great shame that the car had proved its potential. Since then it's led quite a charmed life, a little bit of racing, a little bit of road use. And today it's been great to bring it here to use it on the road and on the track to demonstrate its full potential. Looking at the engine bay, you can see the extent at which that this car has been modified in period for racing. The actual engine that was fitted to this car for Sebring that had been upgraded by Traco was the very same engine that was used in the Cannonball Run Daytona that won in 1971 with a record time from east to west coast of just 35 hours. That engine remains with the car today. This was the only competition Daytona modified by Holman and Moody and as such there's a number of individual features on this car such as the brakes which came from a Mark IV GT40. All of those unique features are detailed and verified in the White Book Classic A certification and that makes this car potentially, in our opinion, the most competitive Daytona competition existence owing to its absolute unique and individual nature, period modifications and of course, isn't it stunning? <laughs>